Welcome fellow beer friends, thank you for joining, thank you for joining. Welcome, 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 thank you for joining the program. Thank you for joining wherever you're joining from. I appreciate you for joining. Thank you for joining. Dear friends across the world, wherever you are, I appreciate you for joining. It is the time we will have to speak up more than ever. Do not relate in your efforts to speak up. Do not sell your rights to anybody. Do not sell your right and freedom of speech to anybody. It doesn't matter whom the person is. It doesn't matter who they represent, it doesn't matter what they stand for. Do not sell your bet rights to anybody. Don't sell your bet right to anybody, no matter whom the person might be. Do not sell your bet right. That is why we are bent on speaking up at any time, any day, without looking back can see what is going on a lot of drama thank you for joining thank you for joining please share the video happy weekends to everybody first of all happy weekend happy weekend to everyone wherever you are joining me from I say happy weekend to you thank you so much for connecting thank you for joining I'm wishing everyone a very happy weekend we must continue we cannot be able to chicken out. It doesn't matter their strategy, it doesn't matter the what they say, it doesn't matter what they are doing. We have to continue on that path of truth. The path of truth. That is why we are here. Today is the time for you to ask yourself a question. It doesn't matter the position you occupy, it doesn't matter whom you think you are. It doesn't matter what you think you're doing. Ask yourself, that thing you are doing, who are you working for? 
Are you working for the beer France or you're working for yourself? Who are you working for? That is the question. For me personally, the man I'm following, which is our Supreme Leader Mazen Nandekano, I know he's working for Bia France. He's not working for himself. He has never worked for himself. He has always been working for the plight of the people, trying to stand up for the people and make sure that our voice is being heard. That is the man we have. And that's why we have to continue whatever we are doing, because we are doing that which is right. We are not fighting for our own selfish interests, but we are fighting for the interests of the masses to make sure that every single soul in Biafra land has freedom. In extension, every indigenous person in that contraption called Nigeria will be free. That is why we are coming on daily basis to speak up our mind, set the record straight and say exactly what the situation is. That's why we are here again. So share the video to all platform. Share it, let it go to those people who are asking questions and who are distractors. Let them ask themselves, who are they working for? Who are they working for? They have to tell us whom they are working for. If they can be able to tell us whom they are working for, then we on our part can be able to know how to go about it. But when you are not able to set the record straight and tell us whom you are working for, we cannot trust you in any way, in any manner. It doesn't matter what anybody tries to say or try to do, we can't trust you. You can only win the trust of the Bia France from what you do. From what you do, that is the only way you can win the trust of the Bia France. You cannot win our trust because of your stupidity. You cannot win our, tr our trust because of your failure. You win the trust of the Bia France because of your good behavior. And when you see you behaving in the right way, when we see you speaking the truth, you win our trust. You don't have to beg us to, to follow you. You don't have to cajole us. But we will follow you because you are doing the right thing. That has always been the system. That is the foundation Mazin Nanikanu led. He didn't force anybody to follow him. He, led, uh, he gave an example. And we all continue to follow that example, follow that full step. And today, we are all doing great, following the truth. Some people think they are working for Mazin Nandekano, but they are not working for Mazin Nandekano. So many people are working for themselves, trying to exalt themselves above that man who has given them a voice, trying to exalt themselves above that which is working. It's not going to be possible. And we cannot accept that. We can't accept that. Anybody who is going on political pollution, go ahead and continue to go for your political solution, but don't stop those who are going on another direction. Don't stop those who have chosen a different direction. Don't stop them. Do not stop those who have chosen another direction to make sure that Mazin Nanikan is being released. Those of us, who are Bia France is, is certain that we have two parties now, some that believe in political solution and those that don't believe in political solution. If you believe in political solution, continue your political solution, but don't discourage those who are embarking on civil disobedience. I don't even stand against those who are fighting violently. I don't even stand against those who are using arms to liberate themselves. I don't, I don't talk against them. So, if you are one of those who have chosen the political solution, Go ahead with your political solution, but don't disturb those of us who have chosen civil disobedience, which is the foundation Mazen Nandekanu led. Mazen Nandekanu gave us civil disobedience, and we have been fighting for a very long time through civil disobedience. Through civil disobedience, how can somebody who claimed to be standing for Asuna Mazen Nandekanu be fighting against those who are on their own, on their own, doing something to make sure that he's released unconditionally? 
somebody that is doing something to make sure that he's being released unconditionally, people are fighting against that very person. Is that not madness? That is madness. It means you are not with him. If you are with Mazin Nandekanu, anybody that is fighting for his release, it doesn't matter the method they are trying to use. You have to support that person. Whoever is fighting for the release of Mazin Nandekanu, it doesn't matter the method. You have to support it. But when you are not supporting that method, it means you are not in support of Asuna Mazin Nandekanu. You are working opposite. You are working against him. And don't expect the Biafran to support you because the Biafran's already, they know where they are going. They know whom they are following. They know whom their leader is. They know what he can do and what he can say. So, before you open up your mouth and tell us that Martin Nandukani said or he did not say, we know what he can say and what he will not say. You cannot deceive us or distract us. You cannot. It doesn't matter how you try. It doesn't matter how brilliant you think you are. You cannot stop us from what is working. Already we have made our choice to pursue that path which is civil disobedience. And so many people who fought for their own freedom in the past, they got their freedom through civil disobedience. This is the truth and nothing but the truth. Many people that fought for their freedom in the past got their freedom through the civil disobedience. Many. And for you to come and discourage civil disobedience, it means you don't know what you are doing. That is what it means. You don't know what you are doing. Because every single soul who is sincerely and seriously fighting for freedom embarks on civil disobedience and they all get God results. They all got results. But today it's so sad that people who are supposed to be leading us in this part are the same people demonizing us. The people who are supposed to lead the charge are the same people demonizing us. It's so sad. It's so sad. Everybody who is on backing on civil disobedience, we are not standing against those who decided to choose the political solution because we know political solution has not worked, never ever worked. Even our Sula Mazin Argano tried it, it never worked. That is why we don't want to believe in it or hope on it. If you feel that political solution is what is going to bring the solution to the problem, why don't you continue on that political solution that you feel will solve the problem? Continue on it and allow those who have chosen the other part to continue to go on it. Allow the ones who have chosen a different direction to continue on the path they have chosen. That is the way to do it. And that is the best way to go. That is the best way to go. You can't be telling me of a, of a political solution and now you are not demonizing those who are doing something that is working. And you and I know that the thing that is even working, the only strategy that is even working is that civil disobedience. That is the only language the ginger will understand. Even that me and you, that the, 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 that the politicians are paying attention to what is happening today is because of that civil disobedience. Without civil disobedience, they will not even pay attention to what you are saying. Without civil disobedience, the politicians will not even pay attention to anything you are talking about. They won't pay attention. But because of that civil disobedience, the politicians are paying full attention to the situation and what is going on. They are paying attention. They are paying attention. That is why we cannot stop civil disobedience. If you feel there's another method that works for you, go ahead with the method. If there is another method you feel that works for you, and it's okay that you feel that can bring change, go ahead with it. But do not demonize those who are doing something that is already working. Something that you can see, even a blind man or a blind woman can see is working. Everybody can see it, that this very strategy is working. Instead of you supporting that strategy, you are busy demonizing it. Is that the right thing to do? Of course it's not the right thing to do. What I expect every Biafran to do is to support that thing that is working. And as I'm speaking to you, the only thing that is still working now is civil disobedience. Because even the people that promised you political solution, even while they are talking at political solution, they are bombing Biafra land on different angles. Have they been able to use their political post or political position to tell these, these, these animals who are in the South is killing people? Have they been able to use their political strength to tell these animals to move away from the South East, at least to retreat? They have not been able to open their mouth and tell these animals to retreat. And they are telling you that they will be the ones to release our Sudan and Nakano. What a joke.
What a joke and a lie from the pit of hell. They will never do anything to serve our own purpose. Everything they are doing is for their own selfish interest. They are doing everything for their own selfish interest and they will never work for the people. They will never ever work for the people. That is why we cannot listen to them. We cannot listen to them. Each time you see them talking, each time they bring their argument, it is always a false argument. Argument that is based on falsehood. Argument that does not have any base. That is what we get from them. They will tell you lies and lies and lies. Make promises, bunch of promises that will never fulfill. Since you were born as a Nigerian, have you ever seen a, 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 a promise that was made and fulfilled? There has never been any promise that was made and fulfilled. And after knowing all this, you can still hit your chest and be bold to say that you are waiting for a political solution. That means something is wrong with you. Something is definitely wrong with you. Because this is a step that our Sunni Mazinari can have followed. He followed this to see if things will work. But it never worked. It never worked. He tried the political solution. It never worked. He tried it. When they are talking about solution, political solution, you would think it's something from the blues. You would think it's something new. It is not something new. It is something that our Sunni Mazinari can have tried. He have tried it and it didn't work. It never worked. Instead, they plan to go and kill him in his house. It was because of the political solution that they went to his house to kill him. I will always continue to repeat this so that you don't forget. I will continue to repeat it so that you don't forget. They will never, ever, ever give you any solution to your problem, more especially politically. The only solution you can get to your problem and things that are happening is the political solution you can get from uh, civil disobedience. Engage yourself in civil disobedience. When you engage in it, you will see results coming from all angles. Results will be coming. You don't need to stress yourself. That is the foundation that our Sunni Mazen Akan have led. He laid that foundation for you and I. He laid that foundation. So why are you now leaving that very foundation that was laid for you and you are holding on to something that is not working? Something that has never worked. If Mazen Nande Kanu could not be able to pull out a strong political solution to set Biafra free, who else do you think can do it? Who do you think in the southeastern region can be able to pull out a political solution? If not, as as they can. It is sad. It is sad that people, people, think, people don't seem to understand things. People don't seem to be reasoning properly the way they're supposed to reason. Even when they know they are on the wrong path. Even when they know very well that they are on the wrong path. Even when they know they are on the wrong path, you cannot accept your mistake and make corrections. Mazin Nandekano, that you and I know, is a good listener. He listens to people. He listens. He's somebody that listens. He listens to everyone. Whenever you lay a complaint, he is going to listen to you carefully and make sure that your problem is being solved. But today, what do we see? What we see today are tyrants. Tyrants who want to take decisions for us. People who want to use the same method that we are running away from. The same method that we are running away from. That is what some people are still applying. You and I, we are here when all of us, we are crying against, uh, against the late Muhammad Buhari and the imposter in Asrock. When he was saying that he wants to silence the social media, he wants to close down the social media. And we are all angry. But today, the same people who we are angry because the imposter wants to close down the, because the imposter wants to close down the, the, the social media, they are still the same people trying to silence people from speaking up. The same group of individuals, they are still the same people trying to silence people from speaking. What does that tell you? Something is wrong. Something is definitely wrong. That is something they are not telling us or that is something they are hiding. And we cannot continue on that path. We can't continue on that path. 
The only part that is going to set Biafra free is the part of truth. It's part of truth. If you are a member of IPOB, the foundation of IPOB was built on truth. That is why every time Mazin Nandekano can come out boldly and tell you that he is as white as snow. And he is not just saying it, it's being proven. It is being proven. If you know that he's not white as white as snow, if you have any charge against him, present your charge. Present your charge and it will be addressed. Not making some flimsy accusations or flimsy excuses on turning things around. No. Bring your arguments. Bring your argument. Mazin Nandikano never chickens out from any argument. He doesn't shut you down. Even when your own opinion contradicts contradict what he believes in, what he stands for, he won't shut you down. He will continue to listen to you and continue to follow what you're saying. But today, it's a different ball game. It's a different ball game. And we cannot continue on that path. We cannot afford to be able to continue on that path. We have to continue on the path of truth. That part that reveals the truth, the part that gives us the true revelation, that is the part we continue to be in. Without truth, the Africa cannot be actualized. It's only in truth, in a foundation laid on truth, that is when we can be bold and proud to say that, yes, Biafra is coming. So many of us who believe so much in Biafra is because of what our Sinomazi Narikana have done. That is why we believe so much in Biafra. Because of where he's coming from. That is why we believe in Biafra. It is not because somebody said it. Because we have seen, we have tested, we have walked, we have watched, and we saw that he is for real. A very consistent man. What he tells you yesterday, he will tell you today, and he will tell you tomorrow. You saw his appearance in court. That same boldness he has is still the same boldness. Challenging the enemy in their presence, even in their court. People thought this time that he's going to be silent. Mazen Nandikano, who is in the war front, facing, facing the danger with head on, he's not even afraid. He's not looking back. But you, that you are sitting in your comfort zone, you are afraid to speak up about Biafra. You are afraid to act because you don't want them to call you a terrorist. You are afraid because you want to protect your paper that is not even, your ordinary paper you have that is not even citizenship. Mazen Nandikano is a British citizen, and yet he is speaking up for his own people. But some of you cannot even be bold to speak up simply because you have some papers you want to protect. That's, that is how low we have decided to be. That is how low we have sold our soul. But how long shall we continue on that path? We cannot continue on that path. Biafra must be free. It doesn't matter what anybody thinks or what anybody says. We will be free. That is why we are coming on daily basis to create the awareness. The enemies are trying by all means possible to see that they shut us down, attacking from all angles. But the most painful is that we are getting the major attack from our own brothers, our own brothers who are supposed to protect us, who are supposed to fight along with us. They are the one demonizing us. It's sad. It's sad and very bad. And I pray that Chukwu Kukabiyama will strengthen us and give us the energy and strength to continue to walk in that path that leads to truth and that path that leads to salvation. Thank you so much for watching wherever you are watching from. Remember us. I will join you again tomorrow. Today is a... Uh, I have a schedule waiting for someone. I'm planning to go for a program. So, I have to go for my program now. If you have time, you can join me on Linda TV show. I'm having a program in the next 30 minutes on Linda TV show in YouTube. Join us on Linda TV show on YouTube. I have a program there where we'll be discussing things that has to do with Biafra. Some important information will be released there. So, if you have time, join me on Linda TV show on YouTube. I will be there in the next 30 minutes or one hour. I will be there. Thank you and remember us. Bye-bye. See you again. Remember us. I want to fight more and there is no going back. Oh, Mary, oh, Mary, oh, Nande, 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 Nande,